it took me about a half an hour to set, set the uh, my tent up, which isn't bad for the first time setting it up out in a real camping situation. I'm at the uh, Fairview State Park in Madisonville, Louisiana, and uh, it's a pretty nice place. It's pretty full. Let me spin around so you can see. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the, the campers. And, but I happen to be the only tent camper tonight. So we'll see how that works out. But I'm close to the road. I didn't want to get way back. Let me uh, show you back there. This is by the tree line because it splits off a little further ahead. I think it's the Chifuncta River. But that's uh, right on the other side of the tree line. And there's a kind of grateful as a fence back there too. That way no uh, gators can come in at night and get me. I don't know. I don't know how good. I don't know how good uh, bear spray works on gators, but hey, I'll give anything a shot once. Looks like it's clouding up. I know uh, Saturday was supposed to have a chance of rain Friday evening and Saturday, so uh, I might have to contend with that a little bit. But we'll see, and uh, I'll check in a little bit later. And uh, just setting up my hotel accommodations for tonight. And it's a pretty easy tent to set up. And it's big too. I mean, I, I, my sleeping bag is in there and I have room for all my bags to fit in too. That's why I wanted to get the two man tent because uh, I wouldn't have to worry about putting everything outside under a shelter. Everything fits inside of the, uh, the tent, which is pretty good. And it's about, it's about 3, 3.15 in the afternoon. Okay, cooking me up some Okay, I'm cooking up some Campbell soup, chunky soup for my supper. Smells good. Let me show you. It's rolling. Yeah, turn that off. Let me turn that off. So that took about a minute and a half to warm up that soup. So I'm gonna get to eating. Hey, I just cooked up uh, that can of soup with the jet boil and it took about, I don't know, a minute, a little bit more than a minute. It brought it to a boil and uh, I mean, I still can't eat it. It's, it's so hot and it's been about three minutes since I turned it off. So you just have to bring it up to a lukewarm and I, that was on low after about 20 seconds. On high, I put it down to low, and it still boiled it within a minute. And uh, I mean, it's going to take a good 10 minutes for this to cool off enough for me to eat it. So <laughs> this thing works. Okay, I hung uh, a bear bag. I don't think you really need to out here, but this I was just practicing. about 20 feet off the ground maybe, 18 feet. I don't know if 
if you can see me in the dark, but uh, here I am at, in the tent, and uh, it's very dark outside. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see me in the light. Uh, I have my headlight and the overhead light on, but uh, it's only about 6:30 at night. It's uh, very dark. There's a couple of street lights, but I have the tent facing in the direction to where they're behind me, and that uh, the fly is blocking it, so uh, I don't get any light shining in here. But it's pretty dark, and uh, it's be my first camping experience in a tent, driving with my bike. So it's it was uh, it was nice. I got a kick out of. Uh, getting some of the things set up and I did um, a bear bag which I don't really need to do a bear bag I don't think there are there are any uh, bears around here uh, but I'll just you know just to get the practice I uh, did it took about four or five times the funny thing is when I uh, first tied the rope with the bear bag I threw it up the tree and I got it it went over the limb that I was uh, aiming for, and when I went to pull it, the rope popped. So uh, I was able to get the sandbag down, and uh, I had good thing I had some rope because it popped in half, and it wouldn't have been enough rope to do it. I don't know why it it, it popped like that. It was a brand new uh, paracord, so I don't know. It must have been a faulty paracord, but good thing I had uh, some other ones. So. Okay, well I just uh, want to let you know, I'll, I'll check in in the morning.